This video is on the topic of synapses. The diagram shows the structure of a synapse. Here we have two neurons. The purple represents a sensory neuron and contains vesicles containing neurotransmitters. The synaptic cleft is the gap between the two neurons. The yellow neuron is the relay neuron and the end is covered in receptor proteins that can bind to neurotransmitters in a similar way to how enzymes and substrates bind in the lock and key model. This allows the transmission of the impulse to be unidirectional. It can't go backwards. The way that the synapse works is that the electrical impulse travels along neuron 1. When it reaches the end, it triggers the vesicles containing the neurotransmitters to fuse with the presynaptic membrane, releasing the neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft. The neurotransmitters move through the process of diffusion across the gap. When they reach the other side, they bind with the receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. This binding triggers the electrical impulse to occur and gets sent along the second neuron. After this, the neurotransmitters break away from the receptors and either break down or are recycled to be used again. In summary, a synapse is a gap between two neurons. Chemicals called neurotransmitters are created and stored in structures called vesicles, which are found in the presynaptic membrane. When an electrical impulse reaches the end of the neuron, it causes the neurotransmitters to be released, and they diffuse across the synaptic cleft. When they reach the postsynaptic membrane, they bind to receptors in the membrane. This triggers a nerve impulse in the second neuron. Synapses are unidirectional meaning they only transmit impulses in one direction. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources here at Save My Exams.